Today we are going to draw a fish. And I know a lot of you already know how to draw fish, but we're going to make a special fish today. So I want you to make sure you're following along and doing the steps with me. So to start off, we're going to draw a curved line that starts not all the way to the edge of your paper, but almost. It's going to go about right here. You can probably put two fingers and then start your fish. So you're going to start your fish and it's going to go up and curve all the way down like this. And on this side we're probably going to leave four fingers because we need room for the tail. So we have that nice curved line. And then we're going to connect the bottom with the curved line. So we're going to keep it going all the way over and around and touch. So we turn two lines into this nice oval shape. Next thing we're going to do is add the tail. I know a lot of you know how to add a tail, but watch how I do it and see if you think that looks like a nice tail. Okay? So we're going to add an angled line that goes up, just like that, and an angled line that goes down, just like that, and there's going to be about two fingers between the angled lines and the edge of your paper. The next thing you're going to do after you have those two angled lines is draw a curvy line that connects them. So I'm going to start at the top one and curve it down and connect it to the bottom. And that's going to be the tail for my fish today. Let's draw a curvy line that goes from the bottom on down. The next thing you're going to do is draw a fin on top. The fin's going to be almost a triangle shape, but it's not going to be quite so pointy on top. So it's going to go up and back down kind of like a mountain, but the top's not going to be quite as pointy. See how that kind of curves at the top? And then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. It's going to kind of curve back up. So it starts and angles over and curves back up, almost like a triangle, but not quite so pointy on the end. So now we have a fin on the top and on the bottom. And then we're going to add one more because it's got another one on the other side. You just can't see the whole thing. So it's going to look like it's following along the same line, just like that. See how it follows along the same angle? But then it's going to come up and touch just like that. So now you can see the front one that's closest to you and the one that's behind it. So once we have those fins done, we're going to draw up here to show where the head of the fish is. We're going to make a shape that looks like a sideways W. So we're going to use a squiggle line. It's going to start right here. It's going to curve out and in and out and in. See how if I turn it on the side, it looks kind of like a W? So you're going to make that squiggle line. We've got quite a bit done on our fish already. The next thing we're going to do is draw an eyeball. So for our eyeball, we're going to use a circle shape. So right here, we're going to draw a circle shape, just like that. And then it doesn't really look like an eyeball yet. We want to make it look like an eyeball. So inside of that circle shape, we're going to draw another circle shape. That's going to be like the pupil on our eyeball. So we've got a bigger circle shape and a littler circle shape inside of it. And the next thing we need is a mouth on our fish. So we're going to draw a nice mouth I want my fish to be smiling, so I'm going to draw a nice smiley face, just like that. And we have a beautiful fish. Now we're going to use lines to add some details to our fish. So on the fin up here, we're going to use some lines to add details. Nice straight lines pointing to the top of the fin, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom fin. So we have nice details on our fins. 
We're gonna do the same thing on our tail. Nice straight lines pointing in all directions. I drew four. We go out just like that. Four lines on our tail. Once you have that done, we're going to divide this fish up into four parts. And you'll find out later why we're going to divide it into four parts, but right now we just need to divide it into four parts. So we're going to draw a line right here. It's a nice, it has a little bit of a curve to it. See, it doesn't go straight down, it curves just a tiny bit. So this is our first part. Then we're going to do another one that goes almost down the middle. It's going to curve just a little bit, top to bottom. See how it touches at the top, touches at the bottom? And there's our next part. So now we have one, two parts. And we need one more line to divide this back section. So we're going to curve it just a little bit and make a line from the top to the bottom. Now we have one, two, three, four parts to the body of our fish. Now we have a beautiful fish. We're all done with our fish. We're going to add some details to the background. So in the background I want you to draw some bubbles right here like the fish is breathing bubbles. So we're just going to use circles to make our bubbles. Just like that. And then in our circles Sometimes bubbles have a little bit of a shine to them, and that's what helps make you know that it's a, it's a bubble. So we're going to draw just a little line like that and a little triangle. Just a little triangle inside of each one, right at the top on the edge. It's kind of off to the side, the middle off to the side. It's a little triangle in each bubble. Now our fish is breathing, has nice bubbles blowing up. Underneath our fish, we're going to make some seaweed. So to make seaweed, we're going to use curvy lines that go up. And then I'm going to do another one that follows the same path, just like that curvy line that goes up. And then I'm going to connect the top with a curve, like boom. So I've got one piece of seaweed. I'm going to do the same thing again. Curvy line, curvy line. And then, boom. When we draw our seaweed, sometimes it's okay to draw over top of what we already drew, but this time we're not going to draw our seaweed over top of our fish because it'll make it look messy. And we don't want this to look messy today. We want it to look nice and neat. So now we're going to draw another seaweed right here, curvy line, curvy line, and top. And I'll draw one more right here, curvy line, curvy line, and top. And the last one I'm going to make tall because I'm going to make it go behind the tail. Nice curvy line, curvy line, and connect. And there we go, we have a beautiful fish with seaweed. Excellent.